Welcome. Today I will be showing you guys my favorite knives that I currently own. Um, when looking over them, actually all but one is a safe queen. And I'm only going to be including knives that I'm going to be keeping, not the ones that are cool that I'll be selling soon. So, I'll show folders first, and then fixed blades, and then I'll show what my favorite knife in my collection is. So, first off, we'll start with the Hinder XM18. This is the my carry knife when I'm not in college. No knives allowed on campus. So S35VN, this is a plain one, so no anodization and has a blue scale. This is a Spanto. Very smooth, watch. You can see. Very, very smooth. No wrist action needed. Okay. The next one will be. A Dalton Cupid first release. Um, this one is, you can see the serial number on there. Very hard hitting. The blade is hand ground. They started using a machine on the second release, and the second release is um, chisel ground. And you can see the grind is slightly off center. This one is in excellent condition. That was an amazing score at a knife show. You can even see oil still on it. This was made back in 1999 or prior. Okay, next will be the Dalton fourth release. So it has the circular safety and a CNC ground blade. Well, I don't know if it was a CNC, but you can see. A little bit different. It's not as hard hitting as the first generation, and that might be because this one's more worn in. There's a little bit of a difference. Let's show that. Especially near the tips of the knives. Okay, so there are the folders, or my favorite folders. And I will show. Fixed blades. I'm going to be putting on gloves for these. These are going to be Blackhawk gloves. Reason being is they are all high polished blades, and since they are um, stored in my display case, I don't want fingerprints on them, and I don't want them to rust. So I'll just wear gloves for precaution. So first up is. The Buck Klinga Pro has a rosewood handle, S30V blade, has a wonderful Persian upsweep on it. Make sure you guys can see the whole thing. Brass guard. You can see it has the boss heat treat. Just a beautiful knife. Um, it comes with an absolute gorgeous sheath as well. Make sure that matches the handle very well. It's a maroon sheath. Let's put that in there. I'm really wanting the folder version of this, but I can't really pay as much as people are asking right now. So you can see right there. Absolutely beautiful knife. Okay, next on the fixed blades would be the Buck Scout. This is a mirror polished blade. You can see it says Buck Custom USA. This was from the limited edition series. I believe they released these just for the Buck Collector Club members. That is Sandbar Stag. It's a very beautiful Sandbar Stag. This one is an ATS-34 with a boss heat treat. So the size of that. It's a very nice Skinner knife. I keep it in my display case. The sheath on this, nothing too spectacular. Just a plain leather sheath. Model 107. But a very cool knife nonetheless. Okay. The last fixed blade is 
the Buck Frontiersman. This uses 150, or not 154 CM, uh, 420 HC with a very high mirror polish. You see Buck Custom USA, number seven out of a thousand. This is a very low serial number. The other one doesn't have a um, serial number on it. And of course that is Sandbar Stag as well. The sheath on this one is a very thick black leather. You can see. I'm not going to put it in there because I'm going to keep this knife as mint. Or I want to keep the knife mint. Okay. And now, I will show you guys my absolute favorite knife I currently own. And it is a folder. It is by my favorite maker as well. And that is the Peter Carey Mini Nitro. It is a 154cm blade. Brown G10 handles. Um, this is my favorite modeled knife. If I could get a um, what's it called spot on his list, I would make one differently. But this is an absolutely beautiful knife. It's an orange peel titanium frame. Fantastic pocket clip. This is a safe queen. Great jump in. Lock up on there. And what's very impressive with this knife is the action. Peter Carey's flippers are the smoothest flippers I've ever held. And the thing is with Peter Carey's he doesn't put an overwhelming detent in there, so it's a light detent, or not really light, but it, you don't have to put a huge amount of pressure on it. It just opens up very nicely. That's a satin finish on the blade. Let's look at the logo right there, carry. I used to own one that was a orange G10 carbon fiber bolster um, on both sides. I really regret selling it, but I didn't know really anything about custom knives and that had been my first one. So there you go. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to make a video about your favorite knives. and send me a link to it. They're getting rid of um, video responses, so you can't really do that, or it would be kind of wasted if you do. So, see you guys later. Have a great day, and yeah, bye.